Hey gang, here's our next exam three review problem. Let's talk about problem number two. It looks like centroids by calculus, okay? They asked us to find x bar and y bar for the given shape using the calculus method. Now, if we ask you to use the calculus method, surprisingly, we expect you to use the calculus method and not the look it up in the back of the book method, okay? So let's start off with X bar. Now I like this. I always like to draw myself one differential area to remind myself what it looks like, okay? That little differential area is DXY, okay? Now I'm not, let's see, so here's what we're after. X bar is equal to the integral of X DA over the integral of DA, okay? But this is the one thing that I'm not super happy about. What the heck is K? I don't want a K in there. Here's what I want. Um, I want this. At this point right here, Y equals B, doesn't it? Y equals B. So when Y equals B, um, what does uh, X equal to? X equals A at that point, doesn't it? Okay. You see what I did? So I'm just looking at this one point right here. So when Y equals B, x equals a. So I just substituted a, a b in for y and an a in, in there. And so I get this. k is equal to b over a squared. Okay? So I'm going to take that and plug it back in, in there. And now my equation reads this. y equals b over a squared times x squared. So that's the equation for that. Okay? What's the equation for this top line here? I didn't give it to you. I suppose that you should be able to come up with the equation of a straight line, right? Y equals mx plus b. In this case, the y-intercept is zero, so that's zero. And m is slope, what's the rise? b, what's the run? a. So y, for the top line up here, y is equal to rise over run, b over a times x, okay? So you should be able to come up with that on your own right off the bat. So there's the equation for the bottom line, and there is the equation for the top line, okay? What? That's so hard. No, it's not, okay? What is one differential area? We've got to take the integral of all the differential areas, but what is just one of them? It's just a rectangle. It's width times height, isn't it? Okay, so one differential area is equal to some width, or, or height rather, times the width, and what is the height of one of those little um, strips? Well, I'll just draw two arrows. There's one arrow, bam, and there's one arrow, right? So it's this guy, which is that equation, minus this little guy down here, which is that equation, and that leaves you with the height of the strip, doesn't it? So here you go, it's B, over a times x minus, and I'm going to put this in parentheses here, that whole thing, b over a squared x squared, okay? Now I can take those parentheses away. I don't have to distribute that or anything, do I? Well, if I do distribute, it just goes like that. Now, remember integrals. If I take the integral of both sides, I have to take the integral. I have to have limits, so where do my stack of strips go from? They go from here to there from zero to A, okay? Zero to A. Let's integrate. B over A is a constant, B over A. X becomes X squared over two minus B over A squared constant. And then X squared becomes X cubed over three from zero to A. And so that becomes what? Um, B A squared, but one of my A's cancels out, so that's B A over two, and two of the square A's gonna go away, and that's B A over three. Okay, common denominator, you're a six, you're a six, you're a three, you're a two, and three six minus two six leaves me with one six, so B A over six, nice! Okay, so that goes on the bottom down here, okay? Nice and easy there, right? So there's the integral of dA. This is unintegrated dA right there, isn't he? Okay, that's where it was. So what's on the top of the equation? Well, it's dA, unintegrated dA, it's that guy, times x, isn't it? 
Okay, dude, we can do this. So the integral of x dA is the integral from zero to A. Of, I'm multiplying this whole thing through by x. B over A x squared minus B over A squared x cubed dx. Okay. Let's see if we can integrate that, right? No problemo, b over a, that's constant, times x cubed over 3 minus b over a squared x to the fourth over 4 from 0 to a, okay? Whoa, we got a flux amazing. So we're going to get b a squared over 3 minus to go away, b a squared over 4. Again, common denominator, so you're a 12, you're a 12, you're a 4, you're a 3, and 4 minus 3 is 1, so that's b a squared over 12. Okay, and that goes up here, doesn't it? b a squared over 12. Let's see, the b's cancel out, one of the a's goes away, the 6 goes to the top, 6 divided by 12 is 1 half, so this whole thing becomes A over 2. What? All that work in the centroid is just right in the middle? That's what I'm telling you, okay? So there's X bar. Beautiful. Super easy, the easy peasy, isn't it? I love this stuff, don't y'all? Not really. Well, come on, when you start to get it, these should be like crossword puzzles, and they're fun to solve, right? I love it when the math works out nice and beautiful like that, don't you? You're weird. Okay, maybe a little bit. Okay, here we go. Next. All right, my board is not erasing very good. Okay, now we're going to do Y bar, so what are we going to do? You know what we're going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to flip the strip. Okay, I'm erasing with my thumb by here. I'm erasing the old strip. Goodbye, old strip. And we're going to put a new strip on here, and the new strip goes like this. Zrump, zrump, zrump. Okay. Again, this guy is how tall is this guy? Whoa. This guy is uh, D-Y tall. And then the, I've got an arrow there and an arrow there. Just to remind yourself what the subtraction thing looks like. Okay, now these two equations here are solved for y. I would really kind of like them solved for x. Okay, well, let's see. This top one up here, this line here becomes what? Uh, x is equal to a over b times y. Okay, and then this one equals, oh lordy, um, a squared over b y equals x squared. And so x is equal to a over b to the one half uh, y to the one half, right? Yeesh. Okay, that's kind of gross. Let's see what happens when we do this, though. Here we go. I don't know what we're doing next. Oh, yeah. You know, we're going to do the same thing. y bar equals... The integral of y dA over the integral dA, okay? Let's start on the bottom, just like we did before. One strip, one differential area is some width, or yeah, this time width, times some height, okay? So what's the width? The width is this line, which is the second line, is that guy, minus the first line, which is that guy. So it's this a over b to the one half, y to the one half, minus a over b times y. Okay. Heesh. And where are we going to add these up from? Where do we integrate? Where's our stack of strips this time? The stack of books, or the stack of strips, goes from zero all the way up to b. Okay. This time we're integrating this way, aren't we? Okay. okay. Here we go. So a over b to the one half as a constant times oh y to the one half becomes what? Um, y to the one half becomes two 
thirds y to the three halves woof, minus a over b y squared over two from zero to b. Okay. And let's see, if I put a b in for y, what is that going to be? That's going to be a, what is that going to be? That's going to be a, a y to the three halves. And then divide that by b to the one half. That becomes um, y to the two halves, which is just, which is, I mean, b to the two halves, which is just b, isn't it? So this becomes a b over three minus, what does that become? One of the b's goes away. a b over two. Common denominator, you're a six, you're a six, you're a th two, no. Wait, wait. What did I do with the two? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did I do with the two? Sorry, there's a, it's a two thirds, isn't it? Two thirds. So this becomes two thirds a b minus b goes away uh, one half a b. Okay, and then I can multiply, make them both six on the bottom. So you're a six, you're a six, you're a three, and you're a uh, two, you're a four, right? Well, the whole thing is a four. Two times two is four, right? So four, six minus three, six leaves us with, whoo, uh, AB over six. Yikes. Hey, should the area have changed from piece number one? We got a, oh no, we got BA over six and now we got AB over six. Oh, never mind, same thing. Okay, here we go. So that, no, it should not have changed. So this is still AB over six and it's a way to check yourself, make sure you didn't mess it up, right? You shouldn't get an un a wrong answer. You should have the same answer. This is unintegrated dA, isn't it? Okay, and what do we need to do? We need to take dA and multiply it by y. So I'm gonna multiply that whole thing by y and I get this. The integral of y dA is equal to, here we go, this is gonna turn into what? A over b to the 1 half, y to the 3 halves, all right, I'm multiplying by y, minus a over b, y squared, dy, okay? And same limits from zero to b, okay? Now I'll integrate, I get a over b to the one half, um, let's see, two fifths y to the five halves, minus a over b y cubed over three from zero to b, okay? Oh my goodness. So I get a b to the five halves over b to the one half times two fifths minus a b cubed over three b. Okay, so one of the b's goes away there, and that goes into there and leaves four halves, which is just Spanish for squared, isn't it? Okay, and so I get this. I get two-fifths a b squared minus um, one-third a b squared. Common denominator again. I'll make you a 15, and I'll make you a 15 I'm gonna have to multiply you by five, and I've gotta multiply you by three. So I get six fifteenths 
a b squared minus 5 fifteenths a b squared which is going to leave me with a b squared over 15. okay now that goes right there a b squared over 15. okay Woo! The A's go away. One of the B's goes away. The 6 goes into there. 6 goes into 15. Let's see. Divide them both by 3. And I would get uh, 2 over 5 times B. Okay? And there, my friends, is Y bar. There's X bar equals Y bar. Okay? That's what I call the flip the strip method. Isn't it nice? Don't get lost in all the math down there. There's a little bit of algebra and stuff you had to do, but it's not too high powered, is it? Okay, I hope that helps you. Let's make 100. Let's go.